Brethren in Christ, Laudato Jesus Christus in Seculum. This is Timothy Flanders at the Meaning of Catholic. Jesus is King. Welcome to another conversation about the lay apostolate. This is a conversation about what we do at Meaning of Catholic, about the role of the laity, the role that we have as parents and as formators of our children. Lumen Gentium says that parents are the first preachers of the faith to their children. As such, we form, in some sense, these are these are now my words. In, in my view, we would we would consider the parents really to be this sort of a sense of the ordinary magisterium, because we are the first preachers of the faith to our children. But not only the faith, but all of life. Our job, our duty before God, is to form our children in the faith. And what we hope to accomplish, and what we're trying to build here at Meaning of Catholic through our online guild community, is to build something of Christendom by using this technology. The, the problem that we have is that we have these families throughout the world who are isolated. They're isolated from Christendom. Christendom, as a cultural force, is should be the force of Catholic culture that forms a, a young child outside the domestic church. So we have the domestic church, we have the parents. The parents are forming their children, but then the child also has this positive peer pressure, this positive cultural momentum that's outside the domestic church, that is the parish, but not only the parish, but the whole village, which is forming that cultural momentum to form the children in the faith, but not only that, but to support the parents in forming the children. So that is Christendom, but the situation we have in modernity is that parents are isolated. One, first of all, they're isolated from their parish. A lot of parents, a lot of pious Catholic families do not go to their parish parish. They don't attend the parish that's down the street. They drive 15 more minutes or 30 more minutes or an hour or even more to attend the parish that's actually teaching Catholicism, that actually has Eucharistic reverence in their, in their mass, in their liturgy, because they want that to form their children. So, this, we have this situation where we are geographically isolated from one another. And it's even worse in, in other countries, like, for example, in Mohammedan countries, Mohammedan-dominated countries, where Christian faithful cannot even access uh, the sacraments, let alone the, the Holy Scripture itself. And so the Internet is what... <laughs> the, the devil created the Internet, shall we say, but God can bring good even out of the Internet by connecting families geographically who are geographically isolated from one another but the internet allows us to connect with one another and this is what we are trying to build with this online guild community and the latest effort thereof is mary queen of the home academy this is a, a an online academy for high school and adult formation so it's it's targeting high schoolers and adults so it's basically high school and college level uh academics and it's a means whereby we can support one another online, informing ourselves and informing our children. And 
so what it is, is it's a cooperative effort, just like everything at I Community mean, Catholic is a cooperative effort between different Catholics of different stripes, different sort of school of, of thought and different experiences, but all confessing the same faith. We have our confession of faith at MeaningofCatholic.com. We also have our internet promise at MeaningofCatholic.com. All Catholics who are involved in Meaning of Catholic, especially the leaders of the guild community, they are all, they all subscribe to that confession of faith and they strive to uphold that internet promise. And so Mary Queen of the Home Academy is an online cooperative uh, academy, uh, so, sort of like a, a homeschool co-op, if, you, if, you're, if you've been involved in any sort of homeschool co-op, which is where uh, families geographically nearby each other get together to help each other form uh, their children in, in a homeschool environment. Uh, but this is going to be targeting not only high schoolers, but also sort of college level and adults. And so this is a cooperative effort where different Catholics are offering teaching classes via Zoom, via online connections, various subject matters that they are able to uh, present. Now, another benefit of this is that there's a number of individuals who make either their income or their side income through this venture. Uh, one such individual is Dr. Edmund Maza. You might be familiar with him. Uh, and he has, he left academia and he makes most or all of his income online teaching these courses. And so he's a part of the, the co-op. Uh, we also have Catholic school teachers who uh, I know of two and possibly a third that might be involved here. They all work at what we call these unicorn parish schools, these faithful Orthodox Catholic parish schools that are in various cities, but are few and far between to say the least. And uh, they are doing fantastic work in their local parish, but you and I probably do not have access to them. You've probably never even seen a school like this. What's even what makes matters worse is that these teachers don't get paid enough because you know these schools are always seeking more money. They they're never covering their costs. They're never covering their budgets, so they can't pay their teachers enough. And then it's difficult for them to raise their family because they need more income. So getting a part, being a part of this, also helps them make some side income so they can teach these online courses through Mary Queen of the Home Academy and they can make some side income to supplement their existing income with the Catholic schools. So, uh, as I said, there's, there's going to be at least three Catholic school teachers involved in this venture as well. So right now we have three different instructors on the website and there's more to come. So we'll have, uh, right now we have Edmund Maza's course and he has other courses coming too soon. Um, and then Dr. Jennifer Bryson is teaching an intermediate Latin course. We will have, God willing, we will have a Latin 101 course. So make sure that you subscribe on the website for email updates. And then we have Gideon Lazar's class on Catholic political philosophy. This course is very exciting because we are in a situation that especially we, we're restoring, we're retaking the lay order of society, the lay order of the church, the lay rulership in the church. And uh, after forming our children, our first duty is to Christianize the political order, Christianize the temporal order. And we have to have a formation in Catholic political philosophy so that we can exist in a Catholic frame of mind in a post-liberal society. We're, we are in a post-liberal society where liberalism has come home to roost. It's come to uh, our institutions, our society, our, our, our true culture in and of itself is in free fall, especially in these United States and elsewhere in Western Europe. And so it's very important that you have, a, a, we and our children have a formation in Catholic political philosophy. So sign up for Gideon Lazar's course. It's a, a year long course and it's very detailed. We're going through all the basic sources, very, very important source, a very co important course. So Take a look at the website, meaningofcatholic.com. Click the link below, and you can sign up for all three of those courses right now. And then there will be more courses to come, so stay tuned for that. With that, let's offer everything up to Our Lady, Our Lady Mary, Queen of the Home, the patroness of our academy, as we always do. And we'll invoke, invoke our three lay patrons. In nomine Patris, et Filii, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu mundiadibus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora moitis nostre. Amen. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. Mary, Queen of the Home, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Terror of Demons, pray for us. 
Saint Anthony of the Desert, pray for all clergy and seminarians. In nomine Patris et Filii Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Jesus is King.